Good morning. If you guys did not get a sandwich or coffee, it is up here where Cheyenne is at. So please don't hesitate to get a sandwich or coffee. There are a couple bacon or ham or no meat sandwiches. Welcome to the ocean. Where'd you say? Okay. Okay. Where are you doing? I know. I wear a one piece suit to work. <laughs> That's the best kind of suit. You bet. <laughs> Good? <laughs> Give me some cushion. <laughs> I have no pot. I know. Okay, here we go. Keeps me young. Have fun. Any other kicking up in the next one? Hey, buddy, you come up the rear. You do? Alright, boys, the strongest power is in the back. Oh, there we go. There we go. See? Yeah, we'll see you for you. John, Kim, look back. Awesome. You did say TJ Thornberry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> DJ, that's, I, that's my bad, I know. <laughs> I'm off doing the lobby. I don't even who I was. to do what I do through the state of Florida, so I do and will call all federal and state only call acts for the state of Florida once they have the towels around. Don't jump out of your boat to cuddle the dolphin and or feed the dolphin. We cannot trap them, but we can float with them, and that's absolutely fine. Stay with the manatees. Also, we're shelling. Um, if we find any shells that are alive today, you may not keep them. Um, you can know, do a lesson. You can keep them. I just don't have that allowed on my tour. I'll talk to you about the tool and how it be. And then I will put it back in the water. All right, you guys ready? Woo! Right. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna speak. So what happens is, like that, when we go out, we want to go on a date. We didn't want to date somebody that got something to offer us. Well, if that dolphin spends his whole day working off Steve, he's gonna go to the white whale. He's gonna have to go to the white whale. He's gonna have to go to the white whale. He's gonna have to go to the white whale. He's gonna have to go to the white whale.
flipper action going on up ahead. down like this. This particular species black 90% from coming into the root structure. What does come into the root structure will go up and through the tree and any leaf that you guys see that is yellow, that's full of salt and that will drop down to the ground. And the next line in the natural tidal swamp, which this is not a natural tidal swamp, will be a black mangrove. Black mangroves will come up and out of the water like this. You have reds that go down like this and you have blacks that go like this. Blacks will take in all of the salt and excrete it through their leaves and their bark. Out like this, same thing, all of those cells and actually through their bark, and then behind them will be buttonwoods. So, this really cool gridlock thing that we got going on. Why that's important is most of our beaches here border on what we call a barrier island. That island is subject to change all of the time with winds, currents, tides, and all of those things. This time of year is a great example of that. So, if I have a new moon or a full moon, and I have one of those days that I have a 2.5 high tide, which is but higher than our high, and it drops down to a negative five high, I can lose about a foot in beach sand if there's nothing that's protected. Overnight, you can go to Inglewood Beach, that's us. It's a very popular beach where people are like, oh my god, where'd the sand go? And then we have to get beach nourishment. So, that's why they're important, but not only do they stop the water and protect our homes from hurricane wind damage, they create land, and that's the super important part. So all this spooky stuff, thank you, that uh, we are standing, or I'm standing on right now, is called detritus. This is those decaying seeds. If you guys look, all of these aquatic plants, plants with the bingo, get kind of stuck into this root structure, then that's what begins to decay. When things decay, they create nitrous. 50% of the oxygen is based off of phytoplankton. Phytoplankton eats nitrogen. So this is for all of that star tap, all of the microbiology. Then we're going to have the filter feeders. Coming over and then I have to stop by and eat them. There you go, Eric. I'll stay right across the bottom. So when you when you look through here, you'll see a whole bunch of them all over the map. I'm here all from Michelle. 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 Oh, right. I'll come back. Does anybody want to see the guys before I go? Is all the way back there? So for this guy, um, in the center, it says mount, it's called Aerophytos Lantern, like a perfect circle of five different teeth. What they do is, is he drop all of his flare. But their greatest predator is a starfish. So what they do is they pick up anything on the ocean floor that they can possibly grab with their tentacles and their little suction cups. And they bury themselves with it so the sea stars cannot find them. But obviously it doesn't work very well, but they attempt it. I'll pass this on a few people here. <laughs> and then if you turn him over, yep, and how he breathes is a bunch of tentacles will come out. So unlike fish, they don't have gills, they have suction cups. So I'll stay here for a little while and all of those will come out. These guys are related to uh, sand dollars as well. Sand dollars is a smush version of these guys. <laughs> Did you run home under this? Anybody else want to cut these guys out? <laughs> Now these guys are not this particular species, but lots of different species are over poached in the northwest. Yep. 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 I still don't eat these guys, but we have lots of people come and get a whole bunch of them to eat. Tastes like chicken. Yeah. Anybody else want to hold on to them? If you open it up, they're gonna have like a tissue and a. Um, they make a soup out of it, so I'm assuming a lot like an oyster kind of appeal to it. Anybody else want to check this out? 
It's not freaking, it's just rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I step on him all day long, I'm not gonna hurt ya. Anybody back here wanna check this guy out? What do you think, guys? Is this a life or what? This is a life, baby. LC 2022. Go red. Go red. Go red. Go blue. <laughs> One in every crowd. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's sink that kayak over there.
we got back there just in time. Nice. Yeah. We got that one right there. Oh yeah. There you go. There we go. Some iguana action. I like. There we go. Where's BJ? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Live music 
here Thursday through Sunday, which is part of my music here. So if there's ever anybody that you love you want to hear, let me know. And we'll try to get here for you. We bring in all different kind of genres of music here. And um, again, they stay open from about 12 noon to about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, seven days a week. We use it those Thursday through Sundays. <laughs> I was hoping our um, VP of hospitality could join us. She's tied up with a little issue right now. She messaged me, but all of the rates are online. Okay. It's on the way you're staying. Just made that a private suite. <laughs> what is it? Like is it? That would be nice. Is it? How much do you think they get for July 4th? Because they're going to have fireworks for this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I would not be that expensive. Yeah. I would throw a party up here for $1,000. Yeah. 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 So we have a little bit of time. 
Are you sleeping without you? You could be swimming through the boat. You're going to go get a pina colada. Right down at the tiki bar. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's all right. It's what do you see down there, Dave? Water. Seagrass. Okay, well. <laughs> send me like in a message what leadership means to them whether that's the word whether that's the program whether it's a combination of that um, I would love to get everyone's thoughts on what leadership means to them thank you oh also Bob says that we're not allowed to tell anyone the total amount of what we raised until graduation so mom's the word <laughs> 